I think the thing is just be true to yourself. You know, if you want to get in the business, you know, what do you want to do when you get in? If you don't know what you want to do, just get in and sweep the floors. You know, and when you finally find what you want to do, do it with, you know, zest and um, less talk, more listening. There's a, there's a line from a guy about, you know, being in prison and all they, they talk about the guys that sweep the floor. They sweep the floor, but they do it real soft so they can hear all the conversations going on around them. So it makes you more aware. And so, <clears throat> not that I'm expecting convicts to come out and get in the film business, but as an analogy, point is that the more you listen, um, the more luck you're going to have in thinking about it. It may not set in the first time or a second time, and then there's that epiphany, right? There's that moment you go, now I get what you're talking about. And that's a great feeling. It's kind of like surfing and you're wobbling and all of a sudden you find the sweet spot on the board. It's like as if you were able to sit yourself on a, on a board on top of a rubber ball that's moving and you finally find that perfect balance. And for all of us, that perfect balance is a number of things, whatever we do in our life, you know. And, and so the working part of your life, which brings the bread to the table, not the spiritual part, you know, that's, that's for another conversation. But um, the idea is when you find the balance of where you want to be, you become extremely comfortable. And actually, you become more noticeable. Your calmness in the set is something that people will look at because it's so unusual, because people are usually in a hurry or they're, 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 they're not prepared because they weren't listening. They didn't hear that the scene changed from day to night. They didn't hear that the camera's now going to look down the opposite end of the street. You know, all these things are practices that you learn. And if you can just <clears throat> buckle down and do the job and find your place and you get to this point, you, it just starts getting easier and more enjoyable. And if you're anxious and, and you, you're frustrated, <clears throat> you got to wash it out. Realize everybody, including yours truly, went through the same thing. <clears throat> the, the idea I can give a success to, um, <clears throat> success comes to those that actually wait for it. And not usually those that go for it. And I know that's kind of mixed to a lot of other people's decisions, but you may not feel you're getting the right opportunity. And so you give up because nobody sees how great you are. But if you just keep being great and gracious and humble, You'll find somebody that will hire you because remember, that comes from up above. It's not, you know, it's not the guy that's also scrambling for the job that's helping you. It's somebody up above who has a job and wants to bring you in. So to me, that's key. You know, you could be seven feet tall, but as long as you're quiet, nobody's going to notice your height. Just the ability that you don't need a ladder when you put scrim in the light. <laughs> so it's as simple as that, I think.